Hello, this is Steve Hart. I'm with Konica Minolta, and I'm here to show you how a user can easily take uh, expenses or other documents and scan them from any BizHub into a SharePoint server for, uh, for storage, archive, search, retrieval, etc. Uh, my demo today is going to be using Office 365 as a, a hosted installation in the cloud as a repository uh, to receive my scan. Uh, this would work uh, nearly identically to uh, an on-premise SharePoint uh, 2013 server. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to my Office 365 site. And notice I do have an expenses library created with uh, a 2014 folder. Uh, no documents in there just yet, but I do have a few columns uh, for various uh, index fields uh, for uh, for metadata tagging and so forth, like an employee ID uh, type of expense document, the date, receiving date, etc. So uh, just wanted to have the viewer see that there are no documents currently in my library. So uh, the first thing I'll do is get onto my BizHub panel, and this particular one is governed by uh, an Equitrack authentication uh, app, and this is tied to uh, Active Directory. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and log in, and can't really show you a card authentication through sc screen recording, but I will use a PIN number that will approximate the same uh, workflow here. So go ahead and key that in. Okay, here. Log in, and that should take me in with my uh, Steve Hart. That's my AD credential. So once I'm authenticated on the panel with a card authentication or PIN entry, I can go about my uh, copy, scan, print business, or uh, in this case, I want to scan my document right into uh, the SharePoint 2013 expense library. So I'll go ahead and launch the app. And here's my expenses form. Okay, so I've built a few fields to correlate to what I showed you in SharePoint in the previous menu. Uh, so we have a receiving date. Those are defaulted to the, the current time. However, um, if say we wanted to change um, the month to say uh, September um, of a different day, I could do that like so and I'll leave the expense date the same but the receiving date differently and the expense doc type I can make that be uh, any number this could be a drop down I like to approximate the look and the feel of a an ATM session so we'll just leave it on receipts but I could choose reports or receipts and reports if I needed that to be uh, matching up with my SharePoint fields so we'll leave it on receipts uh, now the employee ID this is a, just give you a couple seconds on what this means here um, the first screen I showed you was authenticating through a card or a pin number uh, in this particular workflow uh, the employee ID is uh, recognized immediately from the card authentication right through AD so as soon as the user authenticates onto the panel uh, the uh, authentication mechanism is actually doing a lookup for that user's uh, employee ID field. So we're going to incorporate that into the uh, next part of the scan workflow. So I'm going to go, uh, go ahead and click OK on this. And by doing the preview here, I'll actually get to approximate the scan. So you'll see my document here in a second. So there it is. That's uh, the actually, actually, actually the real document that's on uh, the glass of my scanner. So that is the one that I'm going to use just for the sample. And I'll go ahead and click Send Now. So that did it. And I'm done with my session. So I can just walk away from the device, log out. Uh, if I choose to log out, there's my log out button. So, so I'm done here. Next step will be just to go back into my SharePoint site and see the document. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch tabs back over to my SharePoint site. And just to uh, validate, I'll do a sign out and sign back in just so we can 
verify that we're actually coming into a real session. Okay. All right, so just to see the, there's my 2014 folder, and if I open that up, um, there's the file that I just scanned, and it's got the uh, date, month, and year, and a, an incrementer on the end. And notice that just came in uh, about a minute ago, so that's that's current. So, and there, if I get a little preview of my document, you'll see if I hover over that, there is actually my document that I scanned. And depending on what I want to do, I want you can see the properties of my document. Um, it was a receipt. There's my the receive date that I entered. The expense date was today. Um, employee ID is um, extracted right from my authentication. So here's the user. That also is is uh, derived from my card ID as well. So if you want to get a closer view of the document, we can just click it, of course, and see the whole thing. But uh, there you have it. Hope this has been helpful for you. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.